When you are sick, what do you do? Think about it for a second. From anything like a broken arm to a fever or something more serious, you'd probably go and seek medical treatment. But this is a luxury that not all are afforded. We are fortunate enough to live in Canada where, where healthcare to us is free, but for over half the world's population, things aren't this simple. They have to pay for their healthcare. I'm Michael. And I'm Nick, and welcome to the podcast on the issue of the lack of universal health care in the world. According to the World Health Organization, universal health care means that all individuals and communities receive the health services they need without suffering financial hardship. This ranges from anything uh, like regular health services, such as family doctors, hospitals, to treatment and, re- and rehabilitation, to even things like palliative care. While universal healthcare does not cover all possible health services, it does cover a majority of them, especially treatments that are more expensive. Yeah. So, um, universal healthcare is a privilege that all are afforded here in Canada. However, over half the population of the world does not have access to universal healthcare and essential health services, according to the World Health Organization. There is much debate about whether or not people should have access to free universal health care or pay for their needs out of their own pocket. The bottom line in our eyes is that every person should have access to universal yeah, health care. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. So the benefits of universal health care far outweigh the advantages, not only in terms of the advantages for the patient, but also for the government and the economy. Yeah. So the overall cost of health care is far cheaper because because the government can control the regulations and the different negotiations this applies to the money the government spends and also for the for the cost of um, they spend on patients another advantage is that is that universal health care and universal health care is that the doctors and administration spend far less time dealing with insurance companies than the US so US US physicians spend four time four times as much money dealing with insurance companies to seek the um the money that uh that that they uh that they charge where um where in canada it's it's uh it's doctors spend far less time according to healthaffairs.org yeah and a study on the impact of preventive care shows that it reduces the use of expensive emergency room use Patients would rather not see a doctor for minor health issues, which leads to them using the emergency room when things get serious. People would rather wait until someone is serious, then go and see a doctor for minor issues. Yeah, and this this is a pretty big problem because people, for example, in the United States, won't go see a doctor for for something simple, um, where over time these issues would build up and could lead to something far more serious. Exactly, And even like life-threatening, things like that. Yeah. So universal health care, if, if it existed for everybody, it would strip people of the burden of paying for health care. Uh, more than half yeah. the world's um, without access to universal health care, about 100 million of them are being pushed into extreme poverty, which is less than $1.90 US or even less a day. Wow. Uh, because they have to pay for health care. So like people are being pushed into poverty because to pay for their needs for their family members or for themselves. So yeah. people will even like sell their assets, use their savings, s- like spend, spend their kids' college funds, things like that. Like it's just really not, yeah. not good. And, and, and especially in other countries um, where, where people don't even ha- have that much money to begin with and then they have to pay for healthcare, then there's no money to eat, no mo- that kind of thing. It's crazy. Exactly. Another sad is that um, for the World Health Organization is that over 930 million people, around 12% of the world's population, spend at least 10% of their household budgets to pay for for health care. So that's, wow. people, that's people spending t- t- uh, 10% of their income to pay for health care, which really should not be the way people, people yeah. should spend money on things that they need, like bills, paying for, for clothes, stuff like exactly. that. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, universal health care is a particularly controversial topic in the United States. And even though the United States is one of the most developed countries in the world, they do not have universal health care. 
Americans are forced to use health insurance from their employer or use government coverage. And around 8.5% or 27.5 million Americans do not have any coverage whatsoever. So in uh, 2018, healthcare costs were 16.9% of the GDP. And that was a staggering $10,586 per person in U.S. And this is all according to the Organization of Economic Cooperation and Development. Yeah. I, I, that's, that's, that's really that's really a staggering stat that people are spending. Yeah, that's just absurd. Like, Ten thousand five hundred U.S. Near twenty percent of the household G- GDP. Yeah. So, universal healthcare, it's it's um it obviously has its downsides, but they aren't always downsides. They really in our eyes. So, for example, yeah, how do people pay for others' medical care? So, so chronic diseases make up ninety percent of healthcare costs. The sickest 5% of people compose 50% of healthcare costs, and the healthiest 50% of people compose only 3% of the costs, and that's according to the wow. Medical Expenditure Panel Survey. So this, this is the idea that you're, when you pay your taxes, it go, it, 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 um, a lot of it goes to the healthcare, right? And, yeah. Um, the sickest 5% of people um, comprise fifty percent of the healthcare costs, and, and some, people, some people might go, "Oh, this. Why am I paying for other people?" But think about it. If you were, if you got sick, w- would you want to be taken care of, not worry about bills, stuff like that? So I think, exactly. even if you're a healthy person, you're paying into the system. You're paying it forward. Yeah, which is good. And like, what people also forget is that freak accidents do happen yeah, with healthy exactly. people. You can be and I mean, person. like, like unfortunately, like you can be a completely healthy person and develop cancer. Like it's sad, but it is what it is. So like, yeah, or like a car crash, you can always anything. be covered if you're paying yeah. for like taxes on universal healthcare. Yeah. So another con would be long wait times. Uh, the government focuses on providing emergency care and basic care, but specialization wait times can last forever. In fact, waiting your turn, wait times for healthcare in Canada 2019, finds that the median wait time for medically necessary treatment in Canada this year was 20.9 weeks, which is 146 days or almost five months. On top of this, according to the Fraser Institute, it takes on average 11.1 weeks just to get an MRI scan in Canada. That means you have to wait two and a half months just to see even if there is a problem in the first place. And I mean, hypothetically, if someone thought they had a tumor, they would have to wait two and a half months to get an MRI scan. And within that time, the tumor, the tumor could have easily spread or grown in size. So it could yeah. definitely have its downsides. Yeah, and, and the, the issue of wait times for specialists is obviously, um, it, it's, a bit, it's, a, it's a big deal. But I think ha- being yeah. able to even see specialists at all for free yeah. is, is better than having exactly. to pay expensive exactly. medical bills. It, it outweighs the wait time because it exactly. ends up being worth it in the long run. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and healthcare costs um, can also overwhelm government budgets. So, uh, healthcare, the, the cost for um, universal healthcare is a lot um, in, in the in the provincial budgets. So according to the Canadian Institute yeah. for Health Information, the average Canadian province spends thirty percent of their budget on healthcare, with some pr- provinces surpassing forty percent. So, yeah, wow. the government has to provide all these other services, roads. Um, electricity, like all this type of stuff, like, like, yeah. but w- what, what would we want as a country to spend our money on? I, I think it's going to a good, uh, it's going to a good cause making sure that we are. Healthy. Oh, I agree a hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, with free healthcare, there could also be less incentive to stay physically fit. I mean, this is a bit of an off take, but always knowing that your healthcare costs are covered could negatively impact someone's decisions because they'll have a false sense of hope. Like, imagine thinking like, oh yeah, because I'm always covered, like I can do more stupid things. <laughs> I mean, it sounds dumb, but I mean, that's how teenagers think. Like, this is a bit of an off statement though. I don't know how common this is. It's a possibility, but likely yeah. doesn't oh, happen oh, a sure. lot. Yeah. yeah. Um, so in conclusion, universal healthcare is a service that all sh- should have access to. The pros yeah. clearly outweigh the cons. The financial, economic, and health benefits of care shrub the costs of universal health care. Yeah. People shouldn't have to worry about expensive medical bills, 
even things like kinds of prescription drugs, which in, in countries they um, they rack up. I said earlier, the Canadian government can um, negotiate the price and set the prices for for uh, medicine, where in American stuff uh, there's less regulation, and yeah, this is very this is not good at all. Um, and and over to Nick for the the last words of the podcast. Yeah. So, in the words of Walter Cronkite, the most trusted man in America, America's healthcare system is neither healthy, caring, nor yeah. a system. So, a system where yeah. you have to pay for your healthcare. This is not only in America. This applies to the world. It's, it's just yeah. not good. Um, yeah. Thank you for listening to our podcast. Thank you so much. Have a good day.